Hi everyone, this is Tony Ayhan Agmin. What is the really definition of trade or, you know, the substantial trade or you know, how does it apply to, e, you know, E1 visas? Uh, and I want to be able to give little information and they want to know a little more about the E1. So this is what I will say and what does, you know, E1 allows or not. So the E1 visa, uh, which is a trader visa, allows individuals or employees of companies to enter the United States for the purpose of carrying out international trade. So the definition of trade is not strict. It may apply to the trade of goods, of services, and even banking. There's no set limit to amount of trade uh, that must take place, although greater uh, emphasizes the place on the number of transactions over the total uh, value. So what usually, when we say there's a substantial trade, we at least want to be able to see, you know, at least three, four transactions than just having one transaction with a huge amount of trade. So uh, this is why when we're asked by our clients, you know, how big our trade should be, how often should we be doing, we and then when should we apply even visa, we usually tell them you should do at least three, four, you know, series trade or tra trade transactions then you should be good to actually apply for E1 visa. So, you know, an E1 visa, you know, not only covers the trader, the, you know, the person or the employee, also covers, uh, may cover their family members, immediate, you know, family members such as legal spouse and unmarried children under 21. The spouse of the visa holder is also has permitted to work, uh, but children are not. So those are, you know, kind of things to, you know, you might have to know about the E1, you know, trader visas. Uh, before you proceed.